Um, who has copies? I, I mentioned that uh, I think Egbert, the bi first English translation that he had made of some of the portions of the scripture, that there were still some existing. I believe the Vatican has a copy of that, and I believe there are some copies in Britain of that, but uh, you know, the question is there are still some copies of Egbert's translation extant. I don't believe there are any in America. That was one of the questions. I, I don't think there are, but I don't know everything about it, so I couldn't tell you for certain. Um, and then... The question about the KJV translators, why are their names not listed? Well, there, there are a lot of writings about the um, King James translators. And um, the, I, I'm not sh the Bible is not about the translators of the Bible. The Bible is about the Word of God and the Scripture. And so I do appreciate in my Bible I have a good letter from the translators. But uh, it wasn't about any one of them. It was about the Scripture that they translated. And uh, there is a good case made that they were holy men of God that God used to translate those scriptures. There's been a lot of bashing, particularly it's just a lie that was started by the Jehovah's Witnesses about King James and about the translators of the King James Version not being Christians and about um, all kinds of doctrinal heresy and errors. It, 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 that information comes from an attacking side and it's, it's been proven not to be true. And so there's just a lot of lies and why would somebody lie about the Bible? Well, that's a good question. Um, another question, how would the 1611 version of the King James Version read? Well, um, just about exactly like this 1613 page that's available up here. And the 1613 was just a printing revision. It wasn't another translation. But this, this would be a page from an original 1613 Bible. And so that page would be a couple hundred years old, several hundred years old. And uh, that would be a good example of what the 1611 looked like, virtually identical. There wouldn't be any difference in, the, in that particular page. There wouldn't be a difference at all. Just printing errors, or printing, it would be a printing update. And it would be similar to what I always do after I print my first bulletin on Sunday morning. I'll find a printing error or a format error or something, and it's just a uh, revision. Not the words changing or anything like that. So it's not a different version. And so the 1769 version is not a different version. It's simply uh, updated spellings uh, of the 1611. And the spellings aren't inspired. The words are and of the scripture. And so then there was a really good question. And I, I think that maybe um, all these things, I think these questions kind of indicate areas that maybe we kind of touched on but didn't fully um, explain. And that question is, uh, since the King James Version is not inspired like the original autographs, how do you state the difference and still hold that the King James Version is the Word of God? Okay, that's a very good question. I want to answer it. And um, first of all, the reason that I make a distinction between being a re-inspirationist with regard to the King James Version of the Scripture and holding that the King James Version um, is the best translation in the English language. So it's my position defined technically, and I want to make sure that I emphasize technical because it goes further than that. My technical definition about what I believe and what we believe about God's Word, the King James Version, is that it did, it's not a re-inspiration. In other words, it did not make all translations before it obsolete when the King James Version of the Scripture was translated. The Greek text is still a valid text, and it's a better text to translate from than the King James Version simply because it was the original language of the Bible. But, Every good translation today, while looking at the, uh, at the Greek translation, at the received text, at the same time, every good translation that I'm aware of has a um, 1769 version of the King James Version of the Scripture open alongside of it. In other words, it, it is how, how did these translators who were so well educated and uh, had so much knowledge of languages and then that there were, you know, 50, was it 54 of them that were together on it? I mean, tell me a translation committee of 54 people that could agree on translation. You know, I, try, to, try to get some of the, you know, the scholarship level of these men to where they would be reading German, they would be reading, or they would have a knowledge of Latin, they would have a knowledge of Greek, they would have a knowledge of Hebrew, they would have a knowledge of Aramaic, they would have a knowledge of the Chaldean languages, and, I mean, you're kind of a textual scholar by the time you know that many languages, along with probably some French. I mean, they, they're linguists. 
And how do you get 57 of those guys who also are holy men of God together to translate? It's, not, it's impossible today. It just can't happen. Um, so that is my position, is that the importance, the reason in our church we emphasize so much that we use the King James Version of the Scripture is because, first of all, there's nothing like it. There's nothing close to it in quality. And the, and the chance of there being, and this was a conclusion of our Sunday school, and the chances of there being a new translation that would be to replace the King James Version in the way that the people would receive. In other words, it's been the received text of the English-speaking people. And that is our standard for what is the Bible. What have God's people always received? What have believers always received? We're even going to see that in our Old Testament text um, as we get to it today. And so because that's been the received text for so many years, the possibility of an updated, you know, because, because of changes in the English language, the possibility of us having a, a translation that is on par with the King James Version of the Scripture, it's impossible. It, it's not even a possibility. Um, Pastor, you think it's needed? No, at this time I don't. I Maybe 500 years from now, but I don't think we'll, that there will be the church will be on this earth 500 years from now. And I, I mean, I'm not just speaking facetiously. I just don't believe so. I think that I'm going to see the coming of the Lord if, if uh, I don't meet some unnatural, unnatural death by squashing or something of the sort. Um, so that, uh, that, that's, that's my position on that. Now, that is the statement that I've made all along as far as the text is kind of the issue behind the King James Version. The, my problem with the other versions of the Scripture, including the New King James Version, is the philosophy of the translators of the text behind it. They're, un, they're unbelievers uh, with regard... They, they don't believe in preservation. And I can't have somebody messing with my Bible that doesn't believe in preservation. They don't believe in verbal plenary inspiration because you can't believe in those things if you believe in in uh, preservation and their position the position of the translators of all the Bibles including the New King James Version that the New King James translators used the Textus Receptus in the New Testament but they consulted the eclectic text in other words they did it because they realized that there are there is a there is a segment of people that will not receive a non uh, TR Bible and so they did it as a concession to TR people but they didn't believe it and I don't need somebody that doesn't believe when I believe messing with the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? They did it, but they did it for money, not because it was their conviction. So it was a money thing, and I just don't want to buy a money Bible. I want a Bible uh, that the translators are concerned about, as Tyndale said, the plowboy being able to know the Bible better than the priest in the uh, Roman Catholic Church. Was it Tyndale or Wycliffe? One of those guys. Tyndale. Tyndale said that, right? Yeah, he said, I'm going to cause the plowboy that... Uh, walks behind the plow to know more of the scripture than you know and uh, that I, that's the kind of person I want translating the scripture somebody that wants me to have the word of God not somebody that wants to capitalize on my idiosyncrasies and make money off of them okay so that would be in simple answer to it now let me get extreme there are no mistakes in the King James Version of the scripture that's what I believe pastor can you substantiate that I've never found any, never found anybody that could prove any. The same mistakes they say the King James Version has, they believe that, that it just comes from the King James Version of the Scripture, coming from an accurate translation of a, an original text that they believe has mistakes in it. And I don't hold that view either. So first of all, there are, there are no mistakes in the King James Version of the Scripture. It's just a wonderful translation. That's why it's been so well received by God's people. Mm -hmm. It just couldn't be done any better. Um, does that mean that I believe in the inspiration of the King James Version of the Scripture? Go ahead and say that if you want to. I guess I do. Um, I, I, just, I, think that, um, I think that this Bible, that any person with the help of God's Holy Spirit can read and they can have confidence that it's 100% accurate and that they can arrive at truth and that they can know God just as well as I do, just as well as I can. I've had quite a bit of Greek. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe four or five years altogether of Greek language, and uh, I guess it would be probably at least at least with the average guys that know Greek, I would probably be as um, as well versed in the grammar, etc. But um, having said that, I don't need to study my Bible in the Greek language, 
And I'll tell you something else that I found about this scripture is that I can take the English language of the King James Version, 